Random and Rosalina off random. Wait, they're going random? Double random. That's what Helper just said. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't catch it. I forgot. Oh, um, yeah, I know absolutely nothing about either of these characters. I mean, know a little I bit. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in like the same boat. Like I don't know Banjo. I know a little bit about. I don't know how he fun. fights Rosa though. <laughs> True, but like I would think. Okay, Rosa has a stronger boss. He be light. I don't know how light. But, like, based on that, I'm gonna. What the problem? You're like breaking up, your mic is getting destroyed. Oh. I think it I think it adjusted. It should be fine. Um Yeah, so like I was saying before, um Wonder Wing might be a really good move versus Luma. Because honestly that's what the character is. It's Rosalina, but like Luma's the one kind of putting in the work. Like you saw there with that edge guard. Oh, wow. I think I think a lot of Banjo's aerials are actually really good versus Luma. You just do a lot of damage and eliminate Luma really quick. So good. <laughs> that Wonder Ring is so good. that new like neutral air that they gave her in ultimate her smash form one made no sense whatsoever in this game it it actually makes sense Quite get the kill. Uh, did the okay? I was gonna say did Rosa prevent the kill, but Luma start the kill. That, that was a little bit confusing. Um, yeah, I don't know. There wasn't really much to say about that. It's kind of like Banjo just killed Luma early, and then whenever Luma would respawn, uh, Rosa would get. The typical like flow chart led traps. Um, I thought the first stock was brilliant. I really liked the kill using. I guess it'll it'll be right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just following Luma. That was brilliant. You know, for random, he actually got a character that he knows how to play, seemingly. Yes! Yes! Oh. So Joshathan getting the uh, the pit. I guess I guess talk about this matchup and what they could do if they knew how to play it more. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is this is making me very happy. All right. So this is this is great. So this is an interesting matchup. Um, pit. You know, the great thing about the the 8.0 buffs is that he's been having a really good time dealing with projectiles. Because those Orbitars, not only can you... Oh, well, that was unfortunate, but <laughs> those Orbitars are so good at not only reflecting, but also really good in disadvantage. Um, Pit can basically get free parries in the air. If you like Beer versus Orbitars, that's basically like a free parry. You can't really do much. It's amazing. Especially against Zoners as well, when they try to annoy you. Ooh, that was, that was, he, he didn't have to do that. He could have just done an offstage near, he would have been fine. 
Ooh, I got a shield up smash. He's got the basic movements down. Like, I think his combos aren't that complicated. I think what it comes down to is, like, what opponent are you facing? And I feel like against Toon Link, we can get a lot of those, like, early percent combos, like down throw, air and air. Gets you, like, a solid, like, 30-ish percent. But also, another great thing about Pit is also his bear. Because you can do a lot of cool setups, like down throw bear, fun through platform bear. It's really good. Option for the up air. That one is typically used for kills. Like a really good uh, move for kills when you're getting out of a down throw or a down tilt. But it's also good at stringing just because it sends you straight up. That's good. Yeah, so right there, you don't want to overcommit with F Smash. What you want to do is you want to put your opponent in a mix up scenario. So, for example, he gets a grab here. Oh, nice up smash. Uh, if Pit gets a grab, you can either read air dodges and commit to like a strong punish because smash attacks are strong. Or you can do like DI mix up. So, for example, if they DI away, you forward throw for kills. But if they DI in, you down throw up there for kills. It's like another like niche setup for Pit. Nair is a really good move to use in platforms. Because it just rips right through it. And then all of a sudden you set him off stage for more damage. Alright. Orbitars? Nope. Good. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ah. His recovery has killed him basically. He did a good job of avoiding that ledge trap at the moment. Like, he did like an up air, which is really good, because then if you land on stage, you can string it into another up air. But right here, he, instead of jumping back to ledge, he just committed to an up key, which you don't want to do, because the startup of it doesn't connect to ledge. That made me super happy. <laughs>